Hey everyone, it's the patient hodler coming at you with another video and in this one we are going to talk about whales making a move in the Ecomi token and whales making a move within the Vivi app and we are also going to talk about the powerful licensors, what they mean for the project and for our investment and for that purpose we are going to look at two clips that I have found on the BitBoy channel. But before we start, please keep in mind that I'm a crypto and NFT investor and not a financial advisor. So please do your own research before you ape into the Ecomi token, the Vivi collectibles or whatever other investment opportunity that we are talking about here. Also, if you enjoy this type of content, please consider dropping a like, subscribe to my channel and let me know what you think about these two topics in the comments below. Also tap the bell to always get notified whenever I upload a video or start a live stream. Liking, subscribing and commenting is a free way of supporting my channel and helps the algorithm to put my video out there. So I would be really grateful if you can do that for me. And if you want to do more than that, you can also become a rare hodler to my channel, meaning becoming a Patreon or a channel member and therefore get minted on my intro and outro screen. But with that out of the way, let's jump right into the topic. So I want to start out with whale activities that we can see with the Ecomi token. And I think this is a very important one because we have just seen that one whale entity that is not linked to the founders wallets or the usual network of wallets that executes bigger transactions that has moved go chain omi into the immutable x omi so made this transition the conversion of the tokens only right now so that was someone who wasn't really in a hurry and shout out here to jason Colon who kept a close eye on the blockchain data and found this because this is half a billion of omi tokens that have been moved and migrated to the immutable x1 and there must be a reason why the person or the entity didn't do it before but is doing it now and i can only think of one thing that they could have planned with this and that is with a little relief rally in the omi token dump those omi into the market to then be able to buy even cheaper than before obviously there could be also another reason behind it that i cannot see right now or not think of right now if you think you know that reason please let me know in the comments below what you think is the reason for that is it only that this entity wants to have the immutable x tokens right now um, what is the reason for this specific timing what do you think now this is already everything that i can say about the Ecomi token side, but there's also whale activity within the Vivi app. And here I have to also give a shout out to another content creator, and that is Vivi Fox, aka Kelly, aka Rootless Girl, who was also already one time here on my channel. We had a great live stream. So if you go back a couple of weeks, you can find that video if you are interested in that. She has some tools to monitor whale behavior but also general behavior on the vv app and the first one that i want to recommend to you is the vvx tracker that has now a new functionality where you can observe the buying behavior of whales within the top 100 wallets excluding the wallet of the vv team itself so in the sense of vv itself where the drops are minted so you can really see the wallets of unique users and accounts and what they are doing what if they're purchasing if they're selling and what the overall behavior is and what sticks out when looking at this data is that there is actually one wallet that over the last couple of days has purchased one and a half thousand more than one and a half thousand collectibles and basically doubled the collectibles wallet also sticks out that actually a lot of wallets with already significant amounts of collectibles are purchasing more are buying more and are stacking collectibles now if you want to know which collectibles they are stacking head over to vivi fox's channel because she has actually with a lot of work 
of analyzing token IDs linked these token IDs to the drops and to the minting date when these drops were minted and was able to put together a list of the collectibles that these entities have bought. And you might be surprised because you would think of partner statues and super grails, but actually they have bought other collectibles and this can reveal a certain strategy and that in itself can give you an edge in the market if you are looking to potentially make some gains in that market. So I will not talk about this more here because you can go to her video and actually look at this great video, great research, overall great um, stuff that she is putting out here. But what we can say is basically in this tracker we can always observe that right now people and bigger wallets are stacking they are selling some items as well probably rebalancing the portfolio or flipping but the net purchasing is overall positive there are only a couple of wallets that have actually a negative balance and overall we we see that people are buying right now are in a buying sentiment and this also reflects if you go to ecomi viki and when we are looking at the total market cap we can actually see a spike in the total market cap of the collectibles over the last week or so and we can see that after the spike we had a correction but right now it looks that we are actually forming a higher high and i don't want to get ahead of myself here i just want to point that out so that you're aware of it because we know that mtl kyc potential cash out and them really bringing this milestone could be a major catalyst that can at least temporarily turn the prices around within the vv app so you need to be aware of this because if you want to make purchases and you're facing another longer relief rally at least within this vv market then you obviously will be glad to have this information right now to be able to buy close to the bottom now i'm not saying that this is really a turnaround but it's something to keep in mind in my opinion which brings me to the next point and i want to keep it as short as simple as possible and that is the point of the licenses that we have on the app and I have made this argument a couple of months ago, a couple of weeks ago, repeatedly in my videos. But I was saying that these bigger licensors like a Disney, like DC, like USPS, like Warner Bros, that they were analyzing the NFT projects all around and they came all to the conclusion that Vivi is the best one to launch their collectibles and not only launch their collectibles but launch key releases of their collectibles. Think of Walt Disney, the partner statue, think of Steamboat Willie, think of Batman statues and so on. So these people have strategic advisors, managers that have analysis teams, they have legal consulting, they have an army of lawyers, of managers, of analysts that are looking into these projects and make a strategic decision. Now, usually you could say even a big player can make a wrongful decision, but the masses of licensors that are deciding for this project are less likely to make a completely wrong decision. So I tell you this because we always need to put the FUD that we are seeing in social media and out there into perspective with the actual fundamentals that we are seeing around these licenses. Now, the reason why I am repeating all of this is because I've seen a similar argument in the discussion about the Board Ape Yard Club NFTs. Apparently, and I've not seen it, but apparently there was a documentary basically claiming that the founders of Board Ape Yard Club were racists and that they would be putting out these NFTs because of their uh, racist opinion or whatever. So according to many people, these are false accusations or at least not sustained with enough evidence. I cannot comment on this and this is also not the point to comment on the reason for this documentary or if this is a thing or not, but the justification of the people on the BitBoy stream for why they believe the founders and the staff of the board 8 yard club team that is very interesting to me because it sounds 
exactly like what we are saying about the VV collectible. So listen to this. I can say that there, it, there's massive money behind Board Ape Yacht Club from brands and companies, like multi-billion dollar companies that are investing in this firm. And for them to have, they vetted these founders. So to think that these multi-million dollar companies hitch their wagon to the Board Ape Yacht Club without doing an ounce of vetting uh, seems like uh, foolishness to me. So yeah. I take it with a huge grain of salt. Yeah, I, 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 would, I would agree with that as well. So this is the first clip and it's interesting to me that they are putting out these same arguments that they cannot believe that all these investors and the big entities have not done their research on this team to put significant amounts of money into that. And I tend to agree with that. I follow the same line with the Vivi collectibles here. I don't own any um, board Ape Yard Club NFTs or so. Um, but I own a lot of EV collectibles and I'm very happy with this decision. Now in the same BitBoy stream, there was also a guy, an Omi homie that has actually donated to them to ask a question about the Omi token and where it's heading. And you could see from the reaction that basically these guys have no idea what the Omi token is, what's going on currently with that and what they could potentially answer to this Omi homie. So we know that Ben Armstrong, the founder of the BitBoy channel, that he knows what Ecomi is, what Vivi is, and that he has an opinion on it. But these guys, they didn't know what they were talking about. Now, let's listen to them. And also in the end, because I've mentioned it right now, let's also listen as a third video right after to what Ben said about Vivi and why he thinks they are the best, but that it's not the time for them to invest into it right now. Let's do some super chats. Yeah, uh, we do have some super chats here. Ecomi Skywalker says, what are your guys' thoughts on uh, OMI token tied to the VV app? And how long is this accumulation phase going to last? Thanks, guys. Shout out to Ecomi or Ecomi. I don't know how to say that. Uh, thanks for watching, man. Um, now, on the OMI token, uh, I, I don't have too much to say about that, uh, to be 100% honest. But this accumulation phase, you want to remember in these bear markets, right? We get the big dump down eventually find a bottom, and then there is an accumulation phase. Uh, you know, just, I don't want to spend too much time on the charts here. Uh, Vivi is solid. Jay, I, I agree. I think Vivi is actually the best platform. The problem is it's closed. So you can't move your NFTs off of Vivi anywhere. So that's that's the big problem with Vivi. It, it's not set up right. It's set up for big corporations that want that, uh, like Disney and, and, and some others. It's not set up great to be kind of just regular part of the NFT community. So. so as we have heard in this video, the team of BitBoy doesn't know what the Ecomi token is or does. And that is also not a problem. And we have heard that Ben Armstrong would not invest right now into Vivi, although he thinks they are the best in terms of licensing and so on because of the phenomenon of walled garden, basically that you cannot transfer your collectibles out to sell them on OpenSea or other exchanges. Now we know that at least for art NFTs and some licensed NFTs, this will come in the nearer future, but this might be also the reason for a lot of whales to not commit a significant amount of money in comparison to uh, what whales are committing to other NFTs like Bored Ape or CryptoPunks to those uh, NFTs. And that is why I said in the beginning that we are really, really early because the biggest channels in YouTube, in crypto are not yet talking in a sense of, hey, you got to get this, you got to get into those NFTs about Vivi. And I think by the time that the fundamentals for Vivi change, if they change, this also will change and this mass awareness for the Vivi collectibles will cause a mass entry into the market of the Vivi collectibles. And also when the awareness for the token and the utility and the value for the token is finally there, this will also cause a lot of players to invest into the Ecomi token. So right now we are absolutely flying under the radar with Vivi and Ecomi. And if you are still believing in the fundamentals of the project, then obviously this is a good time to invest into both of them. Not financial advice, you do your own research. But for me, this is a very bullish sign. For me, this is awesome to know 
that right in this bearish phase basically no one's talking about it that that's actually what i want to see because otherwise the par price would pump the collectibles would be unaffordable and it's still time to stack and that is very important to me but with that said i'm already at the end of this video please let me know in the comments below what you think about the clips that you have seen about the assumptions that i made and about the whale behavior in ecomi token and in the vv app so wherever you are on the world have yourselves a great morning evening day night or afternoon and see you in the next video so here's the farm <laughs> and this guy managed to take another path in life and is free like a little chicken <laughs> hey where, where are you going where are you going where?